While I'm one to crave for adventure and new things, I've had the same morning routine for the past few years. I started with a cup of coffee, wash my face, brush my teeth, then gargle with Listerine for about 30 seconds and I'm off to the shower. I grew up with my mom telling me to make sure that I put my oral health first and of course, after brushing, using a mouthwash is very important. Listerine just released new flavors and we love them because you can gargle with no sting. While it's advisable to gargle after every meal, its flavors make you want to do it more. The sakura and peach reminds us of Korea. It's so sweet like bubble gum yet refreshing. The coconut and lime on the other hand takes you straight to the beach and it's like sipping on a refreshing mocktail and it's the sand, sea, feel good music and all things island on a bottle. Hello, maid of honor. Are you there? Okay, okay. Let's get this party started. <laughs> Hi, Vern. Hi, Vern. Oh my god, I'm so excited to plan this with you. It's like I feel like we're starting Vivian Co again. <laughs> planning <laughs> stage, like, natin. From every I don't know every step, we're gonna be planning it together. And of course, I have I've come prepared. <laughs> So Vern, did you tell them about your wedding date now? Guys, made wedding date na sila, finally! I know, finally! So okay, so our wedding date, our civil wedding date will be on January 27. And I really, really hope Vern matuloy na siya because we never know nowadays, diba, if things will push through. But COVID or no COVID, let's pray for it. <laughs> so guys, we have good news also because yes, it's final! I am going to fly to Cebu for Vern's wedding. So super excited kami ni Vernon na even if the wedding is still on the third week of January, we are going to fly there January 3 para naman we can follow all the safety protocols because when we get there, of course, we have to do the swab test. We also have to quarantine ourselves because Vern read it's better to be safe than sorry. <laughs> So Vern, how many guests ba on your wedding? I just, I'm curious, you know, so I can write it down. <laughs> okay, so ang guests namin guys will be a total of 30 to 35. But before you freak out and say, what? Ganun karami yung pupunta sa wedding mo? It's actually going to be most family. So on my side, we're only going to be three with me, so four. So it's gonna be my sister. Vernon and of course Vern Alf will be coming, diba? He wouldn't miss it for the world. <laughs> <laughs> so Alf is coming, Ren, and then the rest of the people, which will be about 27 to 30, will be coming from Ben's family. So Ben's family, we both like big or big families. One lives in where I live now. We're about like mga 11 to 13 people roughly. And on the other house will be the rest of the guests. We're really making sure that everybody will be safe because Ben has a Lola who's 94 years old. She's turning 94. Can you believe that? Next week. So we really, 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 really want to make sure that everything is safe. So as much as I wanted my family to be around and you're wondering, bakit tatlo lang yung pupunta sa wedding mo on your side? Unfortunately, my parents are still not confident to fly my seven-year-old brother all across the Philippines to Cebu. So, they will risk Vern and Bernie joke. <laughs> they will. I think my my sister and my brother loves me that much. And feeling ko, Vern, I'm praying na you kaya ng immune system nyo. But guys, we will truly, really, 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 really try to be safe. Hopefully by then, COVID will just disappear into the wind na my whole plan na 100 people will come. I think Ben will be happy to accommodate everyone as long as they'll see us get married. <laughs> okay, Bird. So, my planner sent me a list or checklist. You can see it here on the side. The draft of the suppliers that we would need to choose and the things that we would need to decide on. So, the first thing that she said was the ceremony venue. So, the ceremony venue, Bird. I think you've already went. You've gone to Mamiya's house, right? Yes. I used to be there already. Yes, yes. I think it's maybe about 1,000 square foot. What? <laughs> 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 My drawing pad. <laughs> so 
super competitive sa wedding planner kasi bro, I have to prove to all of them and of course to you na ako yung magiging best maid of honor. <laughs> but yes, bro, I remember Mamiya's place where there's a pool tapos my little garden there. I think it's really the best place for your reception. You know, even just for now. Yeah, so I will be showing here on the side like a rough venue. Like, para siyang empty pa siya. It's all just trees and grass and garden. So, we're going to try to dress it up kahit a little bit. So, of course, it's not gonna be how I plan my church wedding to be, Vern, di ba? Baka patayin na tayo ni Ben if biglang magka-tent and fireworks and the works dun sa... Gideon. Gideon everywhere. <laughs> ben is shaking. Is Ben there? Oh, no. Wala, wala. He went biking. Buti na lang. Buti na lang. <laughs> okay, so next... Vern, before we move on to the rest of the checklist, I really want to see what you have prepared for the bride, girl. Um, um, lights, fireworks, ready na kayo? Uh, ah, ah, it's delayed. I'm so sorry, but my presentation, I just have to present it well. <laughs> just have to visualize to you na lang kasi parang na-delay rin yung fireworks and lights ko eh. <laughs> But kidding aside, guys, before this vlog and before this Zoom call, Vern told me to prepare some suggestions for her. She already made up her mind, but you know, I just want to put more input to it. Okay, let's begin. I kind of know what her dream wedding looks like or want to look like. Parang before pa naman, ever since Vern, you never wanted a big wedding. Vern always wanted an intimate, like all her close friends, family lang, like people she really cares about. And with that being said, I chose this. So this is what I imagined your intimate dinner setup would look like. I think I can imagine this in Mamiya's garden, you know, just full of lights, tapos one long table, and then maganda yung centerpiece, but not, not, alam mo yung not yung centerpiece na hindi mo na makita yung mga tao across. Cause nga, I feel like you, you just want people to have good conversation, good wine, good food. That's what I imagined. Of yeah. course, this is the dinner setup that I imagined for you. And then, syempre, meron tayong photo booth. <laughs> of course, content is life, Vern. I can imagine you with your wedding dress in this area. Kasi feeling ko, this is... This is something we can do in the tree of Mamiya. Diba parang mayroon siyang malaking tree dun sa garden niya. So maybe we can set up like just a simple swing there than flower arrangements. And then there, I can picture you with, you know, you and Ben looking at each other. And then, yeah. Pat D, where are you? <laughs> but what do you think of my suggestion? You know why? It's perfect kasi tayo lang gagamit ng photo booth na yan. <laughs> Kaming dalawa lang ni Bernice. <laughs> I swear, Ben's family, Ben's family, hindi sila ma-photo at all. So, feeling ko, mga, kami mag-ano niyan, kami mag-make sure na worth it yung pagkalagay ng swing. <laughs> no, but, what do you think of the dinner setup? I really love it. It's so funny because Bernice and I really think alike na. And she knows me so well. Because I'm gonna put here the peg of my wedding and my civil wedding. And it's almost exactly the same. It's crazy. Yeah. The girl like... No. Ah! Vern, that's what I... My peg is. That's exactly what I sent sa, sa planner ko. <laughs> Vern, I think we really have that telepathy already. I know. Okay, so the thing is with this one, I think tama si Vernice kanina. I really don't want mga centerpieces where I can't see the other side anymore. So, I actually have another peg, but I think Vernice's peg is so much better than the other peg that I sent. So, this one, papahabol ko siya sa planner ko. Yes, good job, maid of honor. Check number one. Okay, so aside from that table, I wanted the request that I had for the design was there were gonna be candles, not really candles, but faux candles or lights, sa grass, just so it's a little bit more special, de ba? So Vern, this is what I sent the planner. Shampre wala yung tent, baka magulat si Ben. My tent sa bahay niya. <laughs> so it's just like what you see, like in the peg, then sa floor. It's just gonna be like that. But of course, to be safe, no candles. Baka it might get caught in my dress. So I'm telling the planner that the designer has to find a way for that one. I think you know what's missing, Vern. What? 
Northern Lights. <laughs> Paano? Paano magkaka Northern Lights sa Cebu? <laughs> this is really a smaller version of your dream wedding. So, mm, talking about it with you, I'm so excited na. I was telling them nga kanina Vern sa intro, I don't know if how or when we can really have our big wedding, like diba with family and friends. So as much as pencil book na kami for November next year, I know na that's still a big question mark. So like what Vernie said, it's still like a mini version of what my wedding would be. So at least naman, even if hindi na ako magkaroon ng church wedding, but knock on wood, knock on wood, I'll still have one. At least yun ba, it'd still be something that I had envisioned when I was still when I was a little girl. So, just a little fun fact, yun yung difference na many Vernies. I think Vernies had an idea of what her wedding dress would be as a kid. Diba, Vern? But like, you don't really have like a super dream wedding. Not like me. Parang ako like, yeah. I feel like I've been planning my wedding without the groom. Like, I don't know who my groom was, but since I was mga 12, 13, alam ko na how I want my <laughs> wedding would be. <laughs> That's so true, guys. Parang with me, like I don't imagine how the wedding setup would look like. All I know is the dress. Basta, basta I know I would be wearing Michael Cinco. That's it. Feeling like I can have an intimate wedding, just let me wear Michael Cinco. Now that I know, so Vern inquired to her dream designer and grab the guys in costume. Vern will share it with you later. So for me, that was just my dream. Michael Cinco and the rest is okay na. <laughs> No, guys, so, bring the wedding mo. Let's have Michael Cinco, then all the photo and video companies, and then all guests. So, like, put a video and photo. So, am I just get, getting married to myself? <laughs> okay, so let's move on to the food. So, my planner said it's the second most important thing other than the ceremony. And my mom even advised me na, sabi niya, Kahit simple lang yung decor, basta dapat super sarap ng food. That was my mom's request. I highly agree with you. And good thing here na you and Ben went to a lot of weddings before you guys got married. Kasi diba, parang alam nyo na yung preference if you want plated, if you want buffet. So Vern, I wanna know, what are you guys gonna do? Okay, so for this one, since it's just our civil wedding, we wanted it to be still a bit more relaxed, especially since it's just family. We are going to have a buffet. Kasi dun sa church wedding ko, gusto ko, I want sit down. I want like the waiters to be serving all the guests. But this time, I want it to be a little bit more casual. Na parang, it's very Cebu lang yung vibe. Very like chill, very like relaxed, very everyone's just happy and it's a feel good day. So that's how I want the civil wedding to be. With that, I wanted it to be different apart from yung mga pasta, you know, yung mga usual food and weddings. I wanted to have a sushi bar. Ben and I, for one, love Japanese food. I think that's one of the few things we have in common because Ben and I have a million different things that we like. Di kami, di kami the same. So the one thing that we have in common is Japanese food. We super love Japanese food. So this is what we wanted. So apart from the sushi bar that we're going to be having, we are going to have a tempura bar as well. So parang it's nice because there's gonna be a chef there na who will get like live seafood. Yes, parang sa Japan lang. Like who will get like live shrimp, just like pak, ganon. Like this he's gonna put it in the air fryer. So that's what Ben and I really wanted to do. So other than that, of course, our favorites, me and Vernice, will be cheese board, mga like Cold cut, yun talaga yung gusto ko. I want it to be chill. And to be a true Cebuano wedding, there has to be lechon. So that was Ben's oh, other so I was waiting for Vern. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then Vern, you know, it's so cute because like Ben and I will have like this, like it's still gonna be a cute way to present it, but with the lechon, we're gonna have puso. You know what puso, the rice, banana, it's a very Cebuano. So that's what we're gonna have along with the lechon. But you know, it's still laid back, but my sushi bar, so a bit, imagine like class naman ang konti <laughs> without the puso. So there, Vern, what, what do you think? What about your dessert? I am. Also looking forward to that. Oh yeah. Okay, um Wala kayong dessert. <laughs> so Vern, Ben and I decided that we're not gonna have a cake for a special because I feel like if we're gonna cut a cake in the civil, it won't be, you know, something new na sa church wedding. So no cake. Dessert, what do you suggest? Um, what ba? What can 
Since Bernice and I can't think of any for dessert, please comment down below your suggestions kung ano yung magandang dessert na magfi-fit sa buffet namin ni Ben. So there, that ends our food. So I'm so happy that Bernice likes it kasi siya lang yung important guest sa side ng sa side ko. So Bernice approve with our decisions. Okay, so Ver, let us move on to my favorite part. So you're now going to talk about your wedding gown. So initially, Vern's dream designer is Monique Louie. Since when ba? Since what age did you want her to? Like it's always been Monique Louie. Yun nga lang yung like Vernice. If she has Michael Cinco, that was always just what I really wanted. That was my dapat nandon. But after inquiring about her costume, I really wanted a costume because, parang you know, I'm gonna meet her. Then I'm gonna tell her what I want. I'm gonna fly to LA with Vernice. Ganyan. But after asking guys how much her costume dresses are, I have to fly to LA three to four times. That's how much na. That's like a wedding dress already. Yung flights namin ni Bernice there. Kahit mag-economy kami. And how much? So it starts, she said, I have to make an initial deposit of $10,000. <sighs> and that's initial. So, ano pa lang yun, girl? Yung sa loob. Yung lining ko pa lang. <laughs> I can't believe it. That is ridiculous. That is not practical at all. So I don't even know how much Michael Cinco is burned. So I think our dreams are fleeting. <laughs> bye bye. Um, with Bernice's prank where I will deposit 300k tomorrow, I cannot deposit ten thousand dollars tomorrow. So. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, Vern. So let's head to this gown suggestions. So what I imagined, Vern, to since it's a civil wedding, na like I don't want it to be as bonga, because of course we want to save that for the big wedding, hopefully next year or later next year. So this is what I imagined your civil wedding gown would look like. Would be this. Oh, that's so nice. Also, cute, right? Yeah. Because since Cebu is very like, when I think of Cebu, I think of the beach. I think of island life. So since there's also a pool near the garden area, you know, chill lang. And since you wanted also like a chill or fancy barbecue party, this is something I imagine you can wear. Now that you said more details about your reception. So, you know, showing off some cleavage and then your pants. And of course, showing off your... Ah, bawal ba? Bawal ba yung cleavage? <laughs> Girl, yung 94-year-old lola ni Ben. Wow, nakapanty ka sa wedding mo. <laughs> Sabi niya. <laughs> actually, a lot of the gowns that I've been having made, like Pati Ang. Actually, Pati Ang, I wore this, di ba? Like, that's really always, that's always what I want. So, girl, I love it. So, I decided on my designer. It's gonna be Mark Bumgarner. And he's really one of my favorite designers ever in the Philippines. And even abroad, I feel like his craftsmanship is amazing. And his, like, he really pays attention to details. So, he was the person that I really wanted for my civil wedding because I feel like he gets it. Parang, it's not gonna be too simple. It's two pegs to Mark Bumgarner, and these are the sketches that he sent over. And wow, I haven't shown you this because Mark just sent it this morning. So Verni, Ver I haven't given this to Vernice yet. And oh my God, I am. It's crazy. Okay, so this is sketch number one. Oh, I love this version. Oh, number two. It's so similar with the first photo I showed you. Oh, I think I'm gonna cry. I it's know. So it's so nice, no? I feel like now you're gonna wear the other one, eh? I wanna see. Can I be made of honor? <laughs> <laughs> I wanna see. But Vern, this is so pretty. Can you share more about it? So like what Vernie said, I didn't want it to be similar to the wedding dress that I'll be having during my church ceremony. So this, I feel like, is even more me because I'm super mapalazo pants kind of girl. I love suits. I love structured pieces. So if only I could wear this to the church, I would have. But I'm sure 
I would, you know, regret it later on if I don't have a wedding dress. So there, this is what, these are the pegs that I sent. And I really love lace. I know there are a lot of people who don't like it for their wedding dresses. But personally, I love, love, love lace. I used to want a lot of Paramount Swarovski or Shiny Shiny. But I feel like it's not me anymore. So I think it's just lace and little beading for me. Especially for my civil wedding. I even requested to Mark that little to no beading or if sab if I f if he feels like he needs to put a little he could but i told him i don't want too much so calvern what do you think what will you choose oh it's so pretty what's your pick a or b for me the a would be you when i saw it that's where my heart really like ah that's it this is it and I swear, I feel like Mark had got confused with my sister and I because I really feel like Bernice can wear the other one. If we would go twinning on our wedding, kay, that's what Bernice's choice would be. <laughs> yung kabila, yung B. Because it's more like my train and all of that. But there, so that's going to be my dress for my civil okay, so wedding. You know what? Just a little suggestion. Ask Mark also if you can make that shorts like in the reception or something or like towards the end para you know you can be a bit more relaxed kasi for sure kung palazzo pants yun naka heels ka eh so you wouldn't enjoy and get drunk with us and hello that's why we went there to celebrate <laughs> Ayo namin ayo namin na no we, di we didn't fly all the way there and risk our lives just for you to whine about your shoe <laughs> <laughs> so please mark no ted <laughs> i don't know or like skort diba skort i'm not sure like tell mark na lang to maybe have something that you can change yeah an option that's more relaxed for the reception and for us to drink wine till <laughs> 6 a.m <laughs> our wedding starts at 4 30 so let's see kung mag last tayo till 6 a.m the next day but yeah, I really love it. It's so pretty. Wait, wait, wait. What shoe? What shoe are you gonna wear? I'm gonna wear my Manolo Blahnik. My Sex and the City shoes. That's also gonna be my church wedding shoes. So I really want it to be my shoes all throughout this wedding journey of mine. So Vern, speaking of party, it's funny, but this is where Ben and I meet again, diba? <laughs> or something in common. So Ben and I love really good music and having fun and dancing together. And that's something we have in common with our family and our siblings as well. So the only entertainment we're gonna have, it's so funny, sabi nga ng planner, don't you wanna have a vinylist? Vinylist ba yun? Vinyl, ba? Vinylist? By whatever, but someone who will play a harp or a violin Olympian. <laughs> so yun yung mga suggestions niya para daw a bit classy. So something wedding, sabi ko, nope. We're just gonna get a DJ from 4:30. He'll just play some like sweet song a while, and then during the dinner we want it to be like sunset music and there. Then the only other station that we're gonna have is like a drink station. So it's like a, it's, we're gonna have a mixologist, but there will also be a bucket for beer, and there will also be a bucket for soft drinks. But there will be like sabin ng planner namin. He, she will make like mga cocktails. The mixologist will make cocktails inspired by us. Yes. Nice. Inspired by you guys, so let me think. Red Horse? <laughs> Red Horse plus <laughs> Tandoy. Plus Pondador. Oh. It's gonna be Gino V. He's Vern Weave, he always plays in the parties that we go to here. So the last topic that Bernice and I will be talking about and deciding on is the photo and video. Ben and I don't want a videographer for this civil wedding of ours because we want to save the video for our church wedding. So for now, we're going to be talking about video. So Vern, who are your suggestions Kaya, for photo? I think who I would really suggest is of course somebody who we can trust to take the best photos for you, Vern. And I think this is Metro Photo. I think they can capture all the moments that night but that you can remember forever. And for the video, naman, uh -huh. Bernie can see so at your service. <laughs> <laughs> no, wala na ng budget sa video ako na yung kinuha, no? But like, 
I really agree though with you. I guess it's really hard to risk pa to fly in more people from Manila. And since it's very intimate, it's not nicer na parang meron palaging I'm not I don't know if you agree with me. Yeah, and I feel like people will get awkward, especially because Ben's family is not used to having like mga ganon, like so much cameras and all that. So I really want everyone to be comfortable. And I feel like Vernice will do a great job already vlogging our civil wedding. So I want her to have the exclusive joke. <laughs> Girl, how much are you gonna pay me to have the exclusive on my wedding? <laughs> Excuse me, you have to pay me. You're hiring me as the videographer. Excuse me. Imagine I can't can't enjoy my wine because I have to shoot you guys. Come on. <laughs> it would be really nice if I just capture, you know, very personal moments, diba? The moment where Ben will finally shed a tear. Para I never seen Ben cry. And we've known that guy for 7 years. <laughs> Personally, whenever I attend the wedding, the person I look at when the bride walks down the aisle is the groom. Like, I really want to see if the groom will shed a tear or... I feel like Ben will cry because of our flower girl and our ring bearer. <laughs> because we do, we can't have them in our church wedding. We inquired that's Bawal Dao in the Philippines. But Ben and I will have Milana and Chewie as our ring bearer and flower girl during our civil ceremony. Aww. So it's like our happy family. Feeling ko doon iiyak si Ben. When he sees them walking, that's when Ben will cry. Then when like he, I walk in, it's like, wala na. Very Ben na. Back to Ben. <laughs> so that's what's a good, that's a good thing, Ren, about having a civil ceremony because with church, it's very strict. I'm sure you guys already know the work. So at least with this one, we're gonna have the ceremony where Ben grew up. So that's gonna be a nice touch. Will you guys share your vows? No, not for this. We're gonna save it for the church. Because don't my don't my video char don't. <laughs> <laughs> but Vern, can you guys promise me? I know this. I'm thinking ahead now, but please, don't don't get preggers first. <laughs> I know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's why. So at least. That's why I want it to be a mini version of my wedding. Because Ben and I might have little Vern and Ben's already after. But we paid our planner. Because sayang, sayang yung bayad sa kanya. <laughs> if we don't okay. have. So just a little background story. Whenever Vern and I, you know, talk about the future or like dream about our wedding or our future family, we always tell each other na, Vern, when we get married, promise each other na, we're gonna enjoy the two years of honeymoon married life. So Vern, please! Ben, I'm talking to you. <laughs> Hopefully. I know I really wanna see little Vern and Ben's, but you know, you guys should really enjoy. Wala pang kids. Let's see, let's see what happens. So there, those are all the details that we planned with you guys. I hope that you had fun seeing how Vernice and I plan things. Basically, ito rin yung nangyari during our Vivian Go. It was just full of jokes, full of like laughs. So there, Vern, thank you so much for helping. And I'm so excited. So, you know, just contact me. Guys, you can hire me if you want me as a wedding planner. You know, that's my sideline. <laughs> sideline. But Vern, I'm so excited and I'm so excited to finally be re re reunited with you, see your new home, and meet Milana and Chewie for the first time. Oh, they're so cute. They're Vern, I can't wait. Bye, Vern. Love you. Bye. Bye. So there guys, I really really miss my sister and it's always so fun to plan my wedding with her only because it gives us a chance to bond and not being around her for almost 8 months already has really been hard for me but I'm so excited for my civil and I'm really really preparing for it only because I'm not really sure when my church wedding will be of course given the circumstances that we're in so I'm preparing by making sure that I am healthy and of course one of the things that I have to take care of is my oral health and I really realized that after all the research and all the time I had this quarantine 
I found out that brushing is really not enough. So I make sure to gargle with Listerine and I'm so happy that I can gargle without the sting because I know that a lot of us don't really like that aspect. So they have these limited flavors that you guys could try as well. So I personally love the coconut and lime while my sister of course is sakura and peach because She's the ultimate Koreana girl. <laughs> so there you go, guys. So make sure to gargle for 30 seconds and let me know in the comment section down below what you love about the newest flavors of Listerine. So again, this is Vern. See you next time and please subscribe.